I've made multiple videos about grenades in the past, but since they're all over the place and some are rather hidden, I'll be compiling the information from these and more into one nice clean video with help from my friend Andrew. Flashbang. The flashbang is the most commonly used grenade in CSGO. Costing only $200, it's cheap, reliable, and can cause a lot of chaos. First off, where is the most effective way to have a flash pop to blind the enemy for the longest time? Well, obviously, the closer you are to their view, the better. But does it make a difference if the flash is right inside your face or if it's a few units below? Not really. Well, it doesn't seem like it. If someone can find a way to flash longer than 2.234 seconds fully blind, let me know. What about explosion times? Sometimes it seems like a flashbang pops instantly, and other times it seems like a decoy. Well, at least I thought. I couldn't seem to change the time of the grenade at all, always being almost 1.7 seconds. I thought that stopped grenades would flash instantly, but that didn't seem to be the case. I swear in the past that has happened though. So if someone can show me how to pop the grenade earlier, let me know again. How far can you see the effects of a flash? Well, from what I found, there isn't a limit to seeing a flashbang go off. This flash is over 10,000 units away, and you can still see the nade go off. However, you can see that there isn't any of the usual visual effects of being blinded from the nade. From what we found, you can expect to be affected from a flashbang from a max of 2,700 units. However, at the max range, this is literally just a flash of white at the top of your screen, so you really won't feel the effects of the distance at all. In fact, even 1,000 units away doesn't have a large effect. Considering only in rare situations will you find a distance of 1,000 units, if you see a flashbang, most of the time you will have to turn away from it if it's in your view. Smoke The smoke is one of the only two grenades that won't explode until it has landed on the ground, the only other being the decoy. I made a whole video over the distance of how far you can throw these two grenades, yes they have the same physics, and found that the farthest you can throw them normally is shown on screen. But you can throw a grenade 6614 units if you run boost and jump throw. The main use of a smoke is how it hides the other side of the map from your vision, so how long does it last? Well, that's a weird question to answer because the smoke doesn't really disappear completely until about 25 seconds since it's bloomed. But of course its use is gone long before then. Going frame by frame, I can see a person through the smoke about 18 seconds after it blooms. And in game I can see someone in 18.4 seconds because of my slow reaction time and possibly the dark backdrop behind the person. Oh well, it looks too pretty to change. In the update occurring last week, the sound of the smoke has changed, and one of the effects I've noted is that the sound gets deeper as it continues, and goes silent a few seconds before the smoke fades. It seems to go completely silent 4 seconds before you can see someone through the smoke, so now instead of counting to 15 and then focusing on a smoke, now you can just listen to the sound fade and wait about 3 seconds to really stare down the smoke. Molotov. I made one whole video previously over the Molotov. In summary, a Molotov or incendiary will kill someone in 3.2 seconds. When running through a Molotov, damage varies because the fire spreads differently based on the angle it's thrown and the space it's thrown in. But you can expect to take around 32 to 64 damage. A Molotov can last about 2.1 seconds before exploding in the air regardless of where it explodes. HE Grenades When it comes to aiming on someone, despite what I would think of throwing it under a person to do the most damage, instead, the closer the nade is to the head, the more damage it will do. It's comparable to the same damage that you would do if you hit an enemy in the head and then explode in the stomach with an HE. Again, the timing of the HE seems to be the same no matter how you throw them. Decoys Who even cares about decoys? Just kidding. When you're right under a decoy grenade, you can expect to take generally about 6 HP of damage. The only other thing to note is that the time a decoy goes without exploding isn't because of its air time, but rather it's the time when landed that it stands still, as in whenever it's doing its fake sound, which tends to be around 15 seconds. In short, grenades are boring, and this video is boring. Meh!